I'm going to show you how to get this pathetic minimalism or mom can't use the computer desktop look. Now, I, mean, I could go into detail why it's called that, but basically you're going to have no icons and it's going to look dark. To start off, you need to click on the Windows button and you need to type in restore. You need to create a restore point, so press enter. Then you'll see this little thing that pops up here. Click configure, turn on system protection, press apply, press OK, click on create and type in pre-theme. You can name it whatever you want, just make it legible and easy to understand later on when you get frazzled, because this is kind of our worst case scenario, backup. So once it's done, press OK, and you need to go into the description and you will see secure UX theme. Click theme tool, .exe. Then go to the second link in the description and you will see 7 TSP GUI. Log into DeviantArt. If you don't have an account, you will need to make one. Then click the download button here. Once you do that, you need to go to the third link in the description and you will see this MSFN thing. Just scroll down and you will see this link here. Click on it. Now it is a .rar file. What does that mean? Well, you need to use something called 7-zip, WinZip, or WinRAR. I have a link to 7-zip in the description. You just need to open it and click on the download exe file, the second one toward the, that one right there. Now, once you do that, let's actually download the theme elements. For this particular video, I'm going to be using the dark theme. So download it as per usual through DeviantArt. Then the second link will be the blanked icon theme. Once again, click download. And the third part, the wallpaper is also linked to the description and to download it, just right click it, click save image as, then click save. Now, once you download everything and go into your downloads, you will have a whole bunch of stuff that you need to work through. To start off, let's do the easiest thing. Right click on the 9688 image thing that you downloaded, just click on it, then right click and click set as desktop background. Now, once you do that, you have a nice and dark background. Moving on, let's actually apply the theme and the icons. So click on theme tool, then right click it and click run as administrator. Then press yes and press yes. Then you will see this window pop up. On the right, you will see this installation section. Just click install, then click no. You're clicking no so it doesn't reboot right away. Then once you do that, close off this window and we need to now open up the 7TSP GUI theme tool. So double click on the zip file and you will see the 7TSP GUI.ee file. You need to drag it into your downloads, then go back to your downloads and you will see the .ee file. You need to click on it, then right click, then click rename, and you need to change it from .ee to .exe. So change it to .exe, press enter, then press yes, and it will turn into an application. You want to double click on it to open it up, press yes, then it will show up with this read me thing. You could read it if you want, I never do, just press yes. Then you will see this icon theme pack thing. Well, before we even go any further, let's uh, close this notepad. We need to actually set our icons as a file that this application can read. So to do that, go to the blanked icon theme by Nivu, who's an absolute gem, double click on it. Then you will see this folder, drag this folder into your downloads. Then go back to your downloads and you will see the blank icon theme updated, double click on it. And you will see 7 TSP blanked dark mode dot 7 Z dot remove and a light mode version of it. If you want to use dark mode, then use the dark mode one. If you want to use light mode, use the light mode one. It's pretty obvious. I'm going to use the dark mode one because it works well with the wallpaper. So I'm going to click on the file, right click it, click rename and remove the dot remove. So just select it and press delete. The file itself should end in dot 7 Z or Z for you Americans. Once you do that, click off of it, then press yes, and it should turn it into a .7z file, as you can see in the type section here. Now, once you do that, click add a custom pack in the 7TSP theme source patcher thingy. Just click add a custom pack, go to downloads, then click blank icon theme, then click the .7z file that appears, double click on it, and it'll say one moment, please. And once it does that and you give it one moment, which is literally one moment, it's already done, click start patching. Then press yes. And after you're fit farted on your phone for a couple minutes, you just need to press yes on the reboot now prompt. And after you've debated your life for a couple of minutes, you will see 
uh, the system has been patched, but I still see icons. What the heck? Well, press OK. Before you get a little too crazy, click on File Explorer, and it'll pop up with a whole bunch of icons. What you need to do is you need to go to your Downloads folder, then go to, oh, this is very hard to read. <laughs> go to Dark by k -Drew, double click on it. Then you will see a theme folder. You want to drag this theme folder into your downloads. Oh, this is just brutal. <laughs> this is impossible to use. Click on downloads, then click on theme. I can't even see what's going on. Just, okay, so you have two options. You have Office app colors not affected. So if you have Microsoft Office and you don't want the colors being all goofed around, use that one. But if you don't have Microsoft Office or you just don't care, double click on normal and you will see a whole bunch of themes here. You want to select all of them, press control C, then click on this PC, click on local disk, then click on windows, scroll on down to resources, then click on themes and paste in all those themes. Click do this for all items, all current items, then press continue. Then you actually need to apply the theme. So to do that, you want to open up your file explorer. If you closed it, go to downloads, right click the theme tool, click run as administrator, press yes, then press yes again, and you will see a whole bunch of new options. You have dark one, dark two, dark, uh, uh, you have a ton of options, and I don't know which one these correlate to. So just pick any one of the dark ones, and if you don't like it, just pick a different one. It's that easy. For this video, I'm gonna do dark one. So I'm gonna click dark one and click patch and apply. And now, goodness, my Windows computer is dark, believe it or not. So if I exit off the theme tool, you'll notice that, you know, there's a couple things that are decent and a couple things that just aren't decent at all. First off, I still have a OneDrive icon. Next up, I have a couple of more icons here. Third, I have icons here. And fourth, my file explorer looks like garbage. Well, this is where you actually need to install 7-Zip. So double click on the 7Z1900, the one that actually has an icon, double click on it to install it, press yes, then press install, click close. Next up, you need to click on oldnewexplorer.rar, right click on it, hover over 7-Zip, then extract to oldnewexplorer slash. And when you do that, it will create a new folder, old new explorer. You want to double click on it, and you will see an application, the CFG, the configurator. You want to right click on it, click run as administrator, press yes. Then it'll pop up with this menu here. So the options that you wanna check for the best user experience, even though it, it, it's, it's almost impossible to use this, is click on use command bar instead of ribbon, uncheck enable glass and use alternative navigation button style, then uncheck show status bar and click install. Now, once you do that, all you need to do is close your File Explorer. And once you open back up File Explorer, you'll notice that it is a whole lot different. Now, you might notice that you still have a couple things like icons for OneDrive and icons for images. And unfortunately, I honestly have no idea how to remove them. And mind you, this is kind of a meme in itself, this whole entire theme idea. So I really doubt that most of you are going to use it. But if you want to remove the OneDrive thing, you just need to go into your programs, type add or remove programs, and uninstall OneDrive. It's that easy, but you once again lose OneDrive functionality. But let's just ignore File Explorer for now. Let's let our problems just kind of fade away. Let's move on to our desktop. So to start off, to remove icons from your desktop, just right-click your desktop, hover over View, and uncheck Show Desktop Icons. Now it's even more clean. Next up, how do I minimalize or make it impossible for my grandma to use my computer for the taskbar? Right-click on your taskbar, click Taskbar Settings, then use Small Taskbar Buttons, enable that. And then after you set your taskbar to super duper small, so it's out of the way, once again, we're just hiding our problems, not solving them, you need to drag these icons into the little drop-down folder here, and next up, we need to remove the clock and this little notifications thing. So right click on your taskbar, click taskbar settings, then scroll down and you will see turn system icons on or off. Click on that. Then you want to uncheck clock, uncheck the action center, and that's how you get it as minimal as possible. Now let's go even further. Unpin every single shortcut on your taskbar. Just get rid of your problems. Don't deal with them. And now look. There's absolutely nothing on my desktop. It's that easy.
And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. So how do I uninstall everything I did because now I just made my computer almost impossible to use? Well first off you need to right click on your taskbar, go to taskbar settings, then uncheck use small taskbar buttons, then go to turn system icons on or off, then you want to click on that, turn on your clock and turn on the action center and now you're kind of back to normal, then open up this menu here and you can drag your icons back onto your taskbar if you want. Now, once you do that, you need to press the X button. You need to open up your File Explorer, so click on the Start menu. Then you want to search for File Explorer, and you want to pin it to your taskbar, so right-click, pin to taskbar. You do that for all your other icons, but now we want to open up our File Explorer. Then you want to go into your Downloads. Then once in your Downloads, you want to right-click on your Theme tool, click Run as Administrator, press Yes, then press Yes again, and you want to click on Uninstall. Now, once you click on Uninstall, just move this over to the side, just don't worry about it right now. <laughs> Next up we need to remove Old New Explorer, so go to Old New Explorer, the file folder, then go to the CFG, you want to right click it, run it as administrator, press yes, then you want to uncheck these boxes here and check the bottom box saying show status bar, then click uninstall, then click close, and if you reopen File Explorer it'll be back to normal in terms of its look. Go to downloads again, and now, for the final thing we need to do, we need to double-click on 7TSB GUI, press yes, then it'll pop up with the theme tool, you want to click restore, then press OK, then press yes. Now, this will take a long time because it's getting all your Windows files back, but at the end of it, you should be back to normal. Now, if you are not back to normal, if your computer's still acting weird, what you want to do is you want to go into your start menu, type in create a restore point, click on create a restore point, and it'll pop up with this. You want to click on system restore, then click next, and click on the restore point that you made. Now, you definitely don't see my restore point, and that's because I forgot to actually make one, but with video editing magic, you'll already make one because I'll put it at the start of the video. That's how massive my brain is, but just use that in case anything goes wrong. Now, I'm going to make a proper theme video. I'll see you guys later. Good night. Mwah.